Australia has stupid laws for toy guns. Let me explain why. This is a gel blaster and it is completely legal in Queensland, Australia. This is an airsoft gun. It is completely illegal in Queensland, Australia. Spot the difference? What's that? You can't? That's because they not only look exactly the same, but they also function exactly the same. The only difference is one shoots gel balls, the other shoots plastic balls. So if they're basically the same, how come gel blasters are legal and airsoft isn't? Long story short, there was a mass shooting in Tasmania 28 years ago in 1996. And after that, the government decided to pretty much ban every single gun in Australia, including toys like airsoft. But the fun fact about that is that they probably had no idea what airsoft even was. And they still don't. Questions just relate to the importation of airsoft uh, products. Uh, do we have the Importation right? of? Airsoft. I'm um, sorry, airsoft. Right. Airsoft. You don't know what it is either? I um, I presume they don't have a ballistic capability. Thank you. Um, and maybe that's a reference to air and soft uh, being conjoined in the same uh, phrase. <laughs> So let's get this straight. Airsoft is illegal in Australia, but the ministers of legislation don't even know what the hell it is. Note that that clip is from 2017, and these smart politicians have done a little bit of research since then, and they found that they can keep making them illegal because not only do they look intimidating, but they also have this scary ammunition called BBs made out of plastic. It's so scary that it actually completely changes the definition of an airsoft gun to a firearm. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I wouldn't call a toy gun a firearm. Firearm, noun, a small arms weapon as a rifle or pistol from which a projectile is fired by gunpowder. And I just don't think airsoft guns have gunpowder in them. And here's a fun fact. If you live in certain states throughout Australia, you'll even have to register your Nerf guns as registered firearms. I asked SAPO whether I'd have to register it, and they said, yes, I would. Police are afraid of gel blasters or Nerf guns or any type of replica that closely resembles a real firearm. So that's why if you own a gel blaster that looks like a penis, you'll also have to get that registered at the local police station. So to get this to me here in South Australia, I had to get them to post it to a firearms dealer. The firearms dealer charged me $50 to submit the paperwork. I then go and collect the gel blaster with its serial number engraved. And I take it to a police station who then charge me $40 to register it. People fear what they do not understand. Heck, the Western Australian police minister thought a gel blaster could be converted into a real firearm. We are aware that uh, many of the components of gel blasters are interchangeable with other parts and can be ultimately converted to a real firearm. Gel blasters, metal or plastic, are not designed to withstand the pressure from a bullet. So converting a gel blaster into a real firearm is just a big load of now you're probably wondering how gel blasters flew under the radar. In 2017, they started getting imported under a loophole in the law because the ammunition wasn't these dangerous plastic BBs that they're so afraid of, but in fact, nice soft gel balls, also known as Orbeez, things that you water your garden with. But after a few years and a very small minority of people misusing them, they thought, Mm, I can't be bothered with this extra paperwork. Let's just ban them outright. Who cares about the businesses that they destroyed, the families that they ruined, the livelihoods that were completely wiped off the map because they thought, mm, we don't really like guns here in Australia. The snap ban has also devastated the industry. More than 50 local suppliers have been forced to close. Hundreds have lost their jobs. We've had people who are still paying rent on empty shops, uh, people who are living in um, camper trailers because they can't, can no longer afford to live. Authorities are making no apologies for their tough stance on gel blaster regulations. And now they're putting innocent people in jail for a crime that shouldn't even be a crime. And the state's gun laws after a prison guard spent two months behind bars for possessing toy firearms. Just nothing short of a disgrace. If you want to make these things illegal, be clear in the legislation. The judge found Adam Smith guilty, but only because he had to, by law. Now I know I've done a lot of this video in satire, but guys, it's easy for me to blabber on about how it's not right and this and that, but 
What can we do? What can we do? Now there is a petition up online about Airsoft. I'm not sure how much of an impact that's gonna make. So my plan of attack, I'm gonna be sending out emails and calling out ministers and local politicians and even trying to talk to the police themselves to figure out how we can get Airsoft back because clearly waiting around, nothing's gonna happen. So if you wanna get involved and help out, hit that subscribe button, keep an eye out for future posts and let's get Airsoft back into Australia. Thanks for watching, bye for now.